First, we will adjust our healthcare protocol, particularly for the Home Recovery Programme. Today, the Home Recovery Programme is already the default option for those aged 5 to 49 years old and vaccinated individuals aged 50 to 79. The HRP has made good progress. More of us are now familiar and comfortable with it. Our processes and support system for the HRP are also more established and stabilised. Therefore, we will now extend the HRP to pregnant COVID-19 cases who are fully vaccinated, below 35 years old and less than 26 weeks pregnant. This will allow more to recover at home. Second, we will further expand our vaccination program so that more of our population is protected from severe illness. We will be including Sinovac in our national vaccination program. HSA and the expert committee will be issuing a statement on this shortly. <laughs> For those who are yet to be vaccinated, you can now choose to be vaccinated with Sinovac under the national vaccination program. We have also made good progress on our booster shots. To date, more than 650,000 individ individuals have received their booster shot. For those who are eligible, please come forward to receive your booster shot so that you can continue to enjoy a high level of protection against severe disease. Minister Ong and DMS will share more details on the vaccination program later. For individuals who are medically ineligible for the national vaccination program, we will give special concession for them to enter premises or participate in activities where the vac vaccination differentiated safe management systems are required, such as shopping malls, attractions, hawker centres and coffee shops, starting from 1st November 2022, 2021. For those who are medically elig ineligible for mRNA vaccines but are eligible for Sinovac, they will need to be vaccinated with Sinovac to be considered to be fully vaccinated. But we will give them a grace period up till 31st December 2021 to receive their Sinovac vaccine. Third, we will adjust measures at our workplaces and allow some activities for seniors uh, to, be, to resume with measures in place to keep everyone safe. Although work from home will remain the default, we recognise that some workers will need to return to the workplace from time to time. By now, about 96% of our workforce has been fully vaccinated. However, there remains around 113,000 unvaccinated employees and over 10% of them are seniors. To continue to keep our workforce safe, starting from 1st January 2022, only workers who are fully vaccinated have recovered from COVID-19 or are medically ineligible for vaccination under the National Vaccination Programme can return to workplace. Unvaccinated workers will need to be tested negative for COVID-19 if they need to return to the workplace. We would like to seek the assistance of employers in encouraging their unvaccinated employees to get vaccinated as soon as possible. We will also resume selected wellness activities for seniors. We understand many seniors have been responsible and staying home for their own safety. However, keeping active also helps our seniors to stay physically and mentally well. Therefore, we will carefully resume selected, organised wellness and social activities for seniors who are fully vaccinated. These may include physical exercises like Qigong, outings and learning journeys. More details will be announced at a later stage. I hope for your understanding, patience and support as we strengthen the foundation that will help us to live with COVID-19. Let us all do our part by keeping to the SMMs and exercising social responsibility so as to relieve the strain on our healthcare system and our healthcare workers. I would also like to encourage everyone to make testing a way of life. I'm confident that if we work together and press on in this journey ahead, we will be able to get through this wave.